The Work-Based Learning Dissertation is a new initiative taken by the Department of Politics as part of our Business in the Curriculum project, which aims to give students a broader experience of research and the study of politics than is possible on standard modules. The pilot scheme with six undergraduate students on board took place in the 2007-2008 academic year. My project is about apathetic young voters and why they are abstaining and what is the Conservative Party in particular doing to re-engage them. Looking at HIV AIDS in India and Sri Lanka and seeing which government is better, if any, at uh, HIV AIDS uh, treatment. About uh, issues of multiculturalism in Blackburn, how there's limited interactions between the two people and kind of what the policies are to address that uh, from the council. It's a comparative analysis of transparency policies in Riga City Council and Sheffield City Councils. My project was about the role of grassroots network organisations in international development and it was looking specifically at Engineers Without Borders, UK. At the start of the academic year, each student identifies an organisation to work with and negotiates with them to produce a piece of original work which acts as both a standard academic dissertation as well as a unique free piece of research tailored to whatever the outside collaborator requires. The collaboration can take the shape of a typical work placement, a series of short visits to the organisation, or by using modern methods of communication, students can work remotely with an overseas collaborator. I went uh, to Sri Lanka last summer. I was working there on an internship, so that's why I originally started uh, doing the project. Just the whole thing's been uh, a very large learning experience that I definitely wouldn't have got if I'd done the normal dissertation. It gave me an opportunity to really pick something that I liked in my course, but then also relate it to something in real life. So I was already involved with Engineers Without Borders, but it gave me an opportunity to link up my course with that and uh, apply theory to practice. Carried out interviews really with uh, key informants in the constituency. So there was like community leaders, key councillors and party officials. Um, so there was meeting with people from different backgrounds and it had to be kind of sensitive to the issues really. Well originally I was involved in a democratic movement back home and uh, that was the main motivation for me because I was interested in how to better democratise Latvia further. I think it did work out brilliantly because I got a mentoring scheme first of all and I've just completed it all in Sheffield City Council and my mentor Phil Taylor has helped me a lot throughout the research and uh, all the contacts were really easy to acquire. The students have been given experience in making use of their contacts, uh, negotiating, networking. Uh, they've done a hell of a lot of, of research, um, both in terms of academic work and also practical work, and the process of synthesizing the two. So I think in terms of transferable skills, it's been a really effective piece of work for the students. Throughout the year, students have standard academic supervision, along with other skills and competence building sessions. The work-based learning project culminates in a unique presentation day, which is treated as a mini academic conference. Each student presents his or her findings to the other participants in a celebration of the success of the course, while gaining valuable public speaking skills in the process. From my point of view, running the programme, I think it's gone really well. Uh, there have been few sort of bureaucratic problems. From the students' point of view, I suppose what's really happened is that we've seen them develop um, confidence in their own abilities, uh, their ability to use practical work as well as theoretical work and put together what are often quite sophisticated pieces of analysis. But I think also there's a very obvious way this has benefited them in terms of their CV. It makes their CV look a lot better. Um, and already we've heard a couple of the students have gone for job interviews and it's been the first thing that potential employers have wanted to hear about because it's very unique and many other students don't have this kind of experience. I would say main bit of advice, get in contact with whichever organisation you're collaborating with or point of contact as soon as possible. Be interested, do nothing what you're not interested in because it will be really difficult I'd assume. Keep in contact with your tutor because they, they are helpful um, in getting you through it because it's a new piece of work, it's a non-standard dissertation, you can't go to other students necessarily. Time management skills, it takes a lot more than a normal dissertation because you start it earlier and you've got a lot more work to do because you have to constantly be in collaboration with your organisation. Start researching straight away, Start get, the, uh, get in contact with organisations now. The more you do now, the easier it's going to be for the, the rest of the whole dissertation and as long as you just keep doing 
bits like every every week, uh, you know, just sending an email, just expressing your interest in things like that, then it will definitely help in the long run. And do it, definitely do it. <laughs> For more information, contact the University of Sheffield Department of Politics.